Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I do all things on my channel, Christian Womanhood and Christian Motherhood. So I have been posting some videos titled God Spoke to Me or I Heard from God and today is another one of those videos. When I hear the voice of God, I really diligently ask him what things are just for me and what things are to share with you guys. And I believe that I've always attempted to be transparent on this channel and that is for a purpose and it truly is a kingdom purpose. I believe that in this day and age that we live in, it's extremely important for women of God to be able to come together in a place and really know that they are heard, they are valued, and that they are seen. And more importantly, I feel like when God speaks something into my spirit that it is urgent that I share with you that God has spoken. And the reason is this. We all struggle in different areas and oftentimes we feel that we are alone. It's actually one of the tools the enemy uses in his toolbox to make us feel alone is to plant those thoughts that truly no one understands how you feel and quite frankly everyone's busy and no one cares and that is a lie from the enemy god spoke to me this morning and i felt inclined to share it with you i pray this video blesses you if you're not already following me on instagram i would love it if you would come check me out over there I upload to my stories daily and I would love to have you come alongside me on that journey. I share a whole lot more about our family and just day-to-day -day struggles, successes, wins, and the failures in my attempt to be transparent with you. So head over to Instagram when you're done with this video and check out our account as well as the description box below. You'll find some cool things I've thrown for you down there. Okay, let's jump into what God spoke to me today and what I believe he wants you to know. Here's what God spoke to me today. I was sitting at my desk upstairs, actually my son's desk, working on some schoolwork for my nurse practitioner program. And I've gotta be real honest and say, since I posted my mental health awareness video and I've been taking my medication, I've really been struggling with side effects of the medication as well as just a lot of overwhelming sense of focus issues comment below and let me know if you can relate to the inability to focus um i've really been struggling girls i've got to be super honest with you and tell you that in my attempt to be an encouragement to you guys and to share the word of god and to share the things that god is doing in my life to encourage and empower you to share jesus with the world I've really truly been struggling to keep up on just normal tasks and at times I think that those struggles and the inability to feel kind of like I'm on my A game has really been defeating and it has really made me question my purpose and question whether or not I really even should be continuing to make videos right now at this time of my life. Um, I've reached out to my doctors and um, the nurses and I'm, I'm staying very on track of my mental health and very on track of these side effects and symptoms. But God spoke into my spirit this morning at the desk and the sun was shining through the window and the way that the warmth was hitting my face. I believe that the Lord spoke to me in that moment and he said, I've called you to share your journey in order to help other women, in order to help other Christian women know that they're not alone. And by you sharing the real you, by you sharing your struggles, these women who and men that stumble upon the channel and watch these videos, they'll be able to feel as though they can connect with you on a deeper level because it's not just face value. It's not just these good, warm, fuzzy, feel good videos that you're producing, Amanda, because God wanted me to share with you that we can connect deeper and we can connect on a real level. If you know that I too struggle and that I struggle in areas that you struggle and that we can connect, God said in order for them to see me when they look at you, you need to, to allow them to see you, flaws and all. And I don't know about you, but that's super hard. 
it's super hard to admit when you don't feel like you're on your A game, when you're struggling with mental health, when you are taking medicines and you have to admit that you're having these side effects and and that you really don't have it all together. And at times it's easier to run from that and to not have to share the truth and to not have to tell you that I too am struggling and to not have to be so transparent. But God wanted me to tell you, flaws and all, we've got this girls because we are binding together as one body. God spoke to me today and he said to share with you my struggles and to share with you this journey so that you can find someone to relate to so that you know that you're not alone. Because as you sit there with your phone in your hand and you watch this video, I want you to know that I know how you feel and that I'm walking a bit of a painful path right now. And I believe that it is for a purpose. You see everything that we go through everything sis that you're facing today it is equipping you it's not only molding you and slowing you down and helping you hit the pause button so that other pieces of your life can be molded to become more like christ but ultimately these things are equipping you to be able to help other women to be able to fight through mental health issues, to be able to fight through depression, to be able to fight through anxiety. God spoke to me and he said, we are walking down these paths so that we can have empathy and sympathy for other people who are all in the body of Christ and who need to know that they're not alone and that their voice is heard and that their concerns are real and that they are valued and loved and that they are needed. Another tool that the enemy uses sometimes in his toolbox is to make us feel as though we're not valuable and that we are not needed and we bring nothing to the table and no one would even notice if we were no longer here. Sis, that is a lie. You may not know exactly what it is you're bringing to the table, but trust me, God has equipped you for a kingdom purpose just as he has me. And I believe that all of us coming together on this channel commenting and talking in the description box or the comment section rather under these videos allows other women to know that their struggles are real and that they're heard. And I want you to know that God spoke to me today as the warmth from the sun shined through that window and I just kind of paused my studying and I said, I hear you God, I hear your voice and I know that this is what you want today's video to be about. Sis, I encourage you to comment below, follow me on Instagram, message me. I would love to pray for you if you find yourself in similar situations and circumstances. I'm allowing you to see this transparency because I want us to come closer together and I want you to understand that God is using this difficult path in my life to know that he is with me and to allow you to know that he is with you through every difficult experience that you're facing. I'm going to get back to doing the devotionals here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call them, but please reach out. Please know I'm praying for you. Comment below if you can relate to any or all of this video today. And I covet your prayers as God allows me to walk through these difficult paths and to come out on the other side victorious because I'm a victor and you are a victor. And ultimately, this life is not about me and you. It's all about Jesus and sharing him with the world. One interaction, one video, one social media post, one relationship at a time. Thank you all so much for your love, your prayers, your encouragement, your interaction here on the ministry, on this channel. Go ahead and check out some of the other videos I placed in the description box below. And I will see you on Monday for another word from the Lord and encouraging video. Stay kingdom-minded in everything you do, and I'll see you in the next video.